Yo, what up guys? This is your boy Legendary here. Today, people, we have finally the uh, Feral Attempt Ceremonial deck. This is the deck that he used against Yugi Moto at the end of the arc. Although there will be some changes, that uh, a lot of changes I say that I made to the deck. Um, so basically, what I did was to construct this deck was, since it's focused on summoning, you know, the three Egyptian god cards for the most part, uh, that's what I focused more on. So I picked a lot of cards uh, that helped bring out the Egyptian guards, Egyptian god cards much faster. So um, there are a lot of changes. It's not the exact same build as the ceremonial deck because to be honest, the ceremonial deck that Atem used was actually like really horrible. It was very bad. The only reason it worked was because the duel was scripted. That's the only reason why it worked. Because he had the three Egyptian god cards, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Uh, he had Burfamet. He had... Uh, guy of the F Swift Guy of the Fierce Knight. He had um, the Tricky. I mean, he's an easy card, so he doesn't really count all that much. But uh, he had that, and like I forgot what else he had. But like he had, he just had so many high-leveled monsters up to the point where the deck wasn't practical. There's no way to summon those monsters fast enough uh, to tribute them off to then summon the gods. So it was just completely inconsistent and not just wasn't good it just didn't work it didn't make any sense so I took the basic uh, construction of the deck which is I kept the three Egyptian God cards and I kept Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl I kept those in there and then uh, I kept the tricky obviously well we'll get into it but I kept the main core the iconic main core monsters in there and then everything else is for the most part new and made to make the deck actually run a little bit better so we'll just hop right into it and you'll see what I mean but yeah, so just keep in mind, not the exact same deck, because the real deck would would be bad. It would it would just suck. Like, it would not be good. Unless you got lucky and you got, like, really good cards. But even then, it's just like, wow, like, it's just not that good. Anyway, let's just hop right into the monsters. So we got uh, Slight for the Sky Dragon, Obelisk the Tormentor, and the Winged Dragon of Ra, the three Egyptian god cards. Um... For these, we are using the anime effects of each of them. Uh, well, not the anime effect, uh, the tag force effect of each of them. So they're going to be on the screen right here. So if you guys want to pause and read, uh, the text may be too small. I don't know, but basically we're using the tag force effects, which means uh, you contribute three monsters to special summon them from your hand. So it's not a normal summon, it's a special summon. So if you guys saw the duel before, you saw that we performed a lot of normal summons and stuff with summoning clock. Uh, the reason why we were able to normal summon well, summon these guys was because they special summon themselves with those effects. So yeah. Anyway, but yeah, the three edition god cards straight to the point. So basically the whole deck is centered around summoning the three edition gods as fast as possible with this deck. Because this isn't a very fast deck. But, uh, you know, we use a lot of cards to get 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 that out. But anyway, we got Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, obviously. Uh, moving those out of the way. Uh, we got the Tricky, uh, and then we got Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, and King's Knight. Uh, the count, these are basically all the main cards that he used in the duel. But, but yeah, so yeah. And then everything else from this point on, for the most part, is going to be brand new. Um, so, obviously we only used cards that he used in the series. No new cards that he got afterwards in other packs and stuff. We kept it as, as close to the enemy as possible with everything that they... Uh, every card that they obtained up until that final duel. So yeah, uh, so let's just hop right into it. Um, we got uh, the Mystical Elf. I feel like that's just a staple in that Thames deck in general. Big Shield Garner just for some good defense. Uh, then we got uh, Electromagnetic Turtle for some defense. You're going to need some defense. Uh, then we got Breaker the Magical Warrior. Just simple, straightforward to pop spells and traps. Um, to pop a spell or trap and then we got two skilled dark magicians you know to help you bring out your dark magician as fast as possible obviously this was used in season four of Yu-Gi-Oh so it's totally legit to use in the ceremonial deck so I added that in there just to pop out dark magician a little faster since that's your ace uh, then we got um, two magicians Valkyria uh, very powerful card summon them both on the field but the, the reason why these two are in here is one because it's spellcaster and also two because it just helps to stall you know, if you summon them both on the field, your, your, your opponent can't attack you. They have to pop it by a card effect. Um, but yeah, so that's why that's in there for, for more defense. And then we got Magician of Faith to help you bring back a spell card. Um, 
you know and you're gonna you're gonna need that because there's a you're gonna need to recycle a lot of your spells in here to get you know the gods all three gods out uh, then we got Sangan uh, you know he just helps you search out monsters that you need with uh, 1500 or less attack so you could search your magician of faith you could search uh, your electromagnetic turtle your big shield gardener your mystical elf and you know a couple other stuff in here as well like your queen's knight and stuff but yeah just a few targets and then obviously the final card is your karibo very straightforward obviously um and you'll there's another reason why karibo's in here you you guys will see you guys probably already saw in the duel anyway but uh yeah so that's pretty much the monster lineup right there i believe that's 20 monsters uh so let's just hop into the spells so right here the spells this is the most important part of the entire deck Spells is what's going to make you go through your deck as fast as possible to get out as many monsters as possible. But yeah, so obviously we got Pot of Greed, we got Graceful Charity, uh, Card of Sanctity, the Anime Effect, obviously. Uh, so these are your draw cards, very simple, very straightforward. You're going to need these cards and you're going to recycle these cards, you know, with Magician of Faith and stuff like that. Um, now, the, the main problem with this deck is, like I said, summoning three monsters on the field or multiple monsters on the field and then tripping them off for, for your Egyptian gods. So I added cards in the main deck that are meant to help you get that. So uh, we have Change of Heart to steal your opponent's monster so you could tribute their monster to summon your Egyptian god card. So that could be good because you could steal uh, an opponent's monster with the highest attack and tribute that one off to summon uh, Ra and Ra will gain attack equal to the combined attack of all monsters you tributed so you could use that to your advantage. We also got Brain Control for the same exact purpose and we got Soul Taker. We're using the anime effect. Uh, I don't have the printout right now but it's a quick play in the anime and basically it just allows you to... Uh, when you when you perform a tribute summon, you can use one of your opponent's monsters, I believe, and then I think they gain a thousand. I don't remember. It's gonna be on the screen for you guys, so you guys will be able to see it. But um, yeah, it's basically just another another way of, of taking an opponent's monster. These cards are not meant to you know steal your opponent's monsters so you could use them to attack. It's meant so you could use them as tribute fodder for the god cards. That's the whole point of them being in there. Uh, then obviously we got tricky spell four. Uh, so you could tribute off the tricky and you know summon three tricky tokens so you could tribute them off for for that and then um for another tribute spell oh no wait i think that's in the side deck we'll get into that uh then we obviously have a dark magic curtain to help you summon your dark magician use the anime effect of this which is basically just uh pay half your life on special summon a dark magician monster from your deck that's how they used it to summon dark magician girl in season one uh it's written in a weird way but that's what it's supposed to be doing uh then we got some um, monster reborn for obvious reasons uh magical dimension to help you pop stuff and you know summon out your dark magician or dark magician girl uh we got fiend sanctuary again also for tribute fodder um then we got um Rebellion, uh, uh, just a cool, fun, interesting card to use um, that Atem used. And then we also got Emergency Provisions, you know, just for some life points. You know, tribute off some of your cards if you're in a tight spot, gain some life points, and you'll stall a bit longer. But yeah, that's the spell lineup right there. It's just draw power, uh, steal your opponent's monsters for sacrifices. You got Tricky Spell 4, so you could summon more tokens. Fiend uh, Sanctuary is also for tokens, so you could tribute it off. Monster Reborn, so you could bring something back from your graveyard or your opponent's graveyard, so you could tribute that card off for an Egyptian God card. But yeah, very straightforward. It's just meant to draw a bunch of cards, recycle them, and steal your opponent's monsters so you could summon your gods. Very simple and straightforward. Um, I didn't add too many like other iconic cards, like, uh, I don't know, like... Uh, some of them are in the side deck, but I didn't add too many of the iconic cards that he used in the ceremonial battle Because like I said, I wanted to make the deck work to summon the three god cards And in order to do that, I needed to make sacrifices and I needed to make the deck consistent I had to make it work. So yeah, uh, then the trap cards we got um, Got black illusion which he used in that duel, which is a uh, pretty good for dark magician there uh, then we got Mirror Force for obvious reasons. We got Summoning Clock, which you can use for extra normal summons. You just got to keep it on the field for a while. Then we got Zero Gravity for some defense. Uh, we got Rope of Life, you know, to bring something back with some extra power, but you have to discard your hand for that, I believe. 
yeah, so, you know, be risky with that. I think you could use the anime effect better. But uh, then we got um, Dark Renewal, you know, to bring back your Dark Magician or your Dark Magician Girl. Straightforward. And then we got Ultimate Offering. This card is also really important in the deck because you pay 500 light points and you could perform an extra normal summon. So, I th and I believe you could keep doing that. You can only activate this effect during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase. Oh wow, you can normal summon during your opponent's battle phase too? That's pretty crazy. But yeah, this card is also very key to the deck, obviously, because this will allow you to perform as many normal summons as you want, but you're going to have to keep paying light points, which is why you have, you know, emergency provisions in there, so you could gain back some light points and you won't be too much at a disadvantage. But yeah, that's the trap lineup. Simple, straightforward. Uh, just adding some of the iconic cards that were used in the duel, and then some defensive slash other cards to help you bring out your gods but yeah very straightforward all right so that's the main deck and let's just hop into the side deck so so like i said uh, i took certain cards out that he used in that duel so i just put them in the side deck in case if you guys wanted to be a little bit more original to what he used in the anime in that duel so we got chimera the flying mythical beast we got a uh, gazelle and we got burfermet right there those three so if you want to use that go right ahead just be very wary because you it's going to be hard to summon this thing. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's going to be hard. Uh, but you can do it. So, we'll see. Then we got Swift Gaia, obviously. Uh, Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. And uh, Archfiend of Guilford. And that's pretty much it. That's the monsters. Just some monsters that he used in the duel. In case if you want to try them out. Uh, but, yeah. Next, we got Polymerization. Obviously, to summon your Chimera. Um, there is no Dark Paladin in the deck. Because Yugi was using Buster Blader. And... And um, Atem was using Dark Magician, so that's a fusion of both of them. So obviously you can't use Dark Paladin because Yugi owns Dark um, Buster Blader in that in that duel. But yeah, we got Premature Bur Burial on the side there for you know just to bring back monsters from the graveyard, so you could you know tribute it off once again. Uh, we got Magicians Unite. You could use the Anime Effect too. Actually, the Anime Effect might be better. Uh, we got Bounce Spell, an Anime Spell. Take control of a face-up spell card uh, on the field and apply its effects as though you activated it. So basically, you basically get to use an opponent's spell card. So they activate Monster Reborn, you could chain this. Now you activate Monster Reborn as your own card. Then we got Pump Up, you know, just for extra attack points and stuff. Um, we got Spider Web, this allows you to steal from your opponent's graveyard. A card from your opponent's graveyard and add it to your hand so you could use it. But it has to be, have been used on the previous turn. So keep that in mind when you use it. It's not any card, it's had to have been used in the last turn. So just keep in mind. Uh, we got Sage of Stone to help you, you know, with Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl combos. We got Ma Magic Formula to bump up your Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. Thousand Knife, obviously. We got uh, Magical Hats, you guys already know. Um, we got Black Spear, which is the equip spell that he used. It basically allows your Dark Magician to pierce, and that's literally all it does. Hopefully they remake that card in real life and then give it an extra effect and make it a little better. Just because I really like the, the design of that spear. It looks really cool, but it needs to have a better effect. But piercing is still good in an anime duel. So, And then we got Multiply. That's why the Karibos in there as well. Karibos is just good in general, you know, for you know avoiding an attack, but... Uh, the multiply is good in there because then you can summon your Karibo tokens and since they're not being tributed for a tribute summon They're actually being tributed for a special summon you could actually tribute them off to summon your gods So that's another easy way that might even have to go in the main deck somewhere So just find room for it, but I didn't add it because it only works with one specific card and so does tricky spell 4 I didn't want too many cards that work too specific with another card, but yeah anyway that's the spell lineup, and then the traps, we got Nutrient Z, you know, to protect your light points. Uh, we got Shift to redirect some attacks, you guys saw that in the duel. Um, we got Spell Binding Circle, just a classic card. Uh, Magic Cylinder, all of these cards are mainly just for defense. We have Disgraceful Charity, uh, and we also have uh, Natural Selection, which you guys saw being used in that duel that we uh, just put up. So. Um, this card is just, it's actually a pretty good card, it's very generic, it just destroys a monster and then summons a token uh, equal to that monster's attack and defense, so it's just a generically good card, um, but yeah, anyway, alright guys, so that's the deck, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the ceremonial deck, I know it's not exactly what you remembered in that final duel, but like I said, if you guys really want this deck to be strong, if you guys want to summon the three Egyptian God cards uh, as consistently as possible, and 
you know, use them to their full power, then you're going to need to build the deck kind of like this, you know, with a lot of draw power, a lot of uh, ways to bring back monsters from the graveyard, or steal monsters from your opponent's field to tribute them off to summon your gods. You know, the, the hardest part about this deck is just, you know, the fact that you have to summon the gods. You need three monsters to summon them, which, you know, decks back then weren't that fast. So it's hard to pull that off consistently, but that's why all those cards are in there to help you get there a little bit faster. But yeah, it's a very straightforward deck. It is powerful. It is strong. It can have its flaws, but it just has a lot of cards to help you get to the end result. So hopefully it's good. Just try it out, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you guys try it and see what you guys think. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for everything. God bless you guys. See you guys in the next one. Gotcha!